Hello everyone, you are welcome once more again to Mama Exam Prep Up. Today we have a question on the board, a problem on sort. It says if root 24 plus root 96 minus root 600 is equal to y root 6, find the value of y. So the basic thing we want to get here is we have the sort of root 6 over there. So we want to express, okay, we want to express 24, okay, 96, and 600, okay? We want to express these values as a product of what, 6? As a product of 6. So the question is, 1 times 6 will give us 24. We simply know it's 4. And that's a perfect square. What about what times, okay, six will give us 96. Let's check it. So I have six, 96. Six into nine is one times. Okay, we have six, we'll subtract the three. Bring down the six. Six into 36 is six times, which is 36. All right, so we have 16 times. That's also another perfect square. All right, finally, Okay, this is a simple one. Six times four will give us 600. Okay, simply 100. So the perfect square is what? 100. I haven't gotten that. Now we are going to expand this using this product. So I'm going to have, instead of 24, we'll put this. So I have root 4 times 6 plus root what? I have 16 times 6. Okay minus root what we have 100 times 6 so this will give us what y root 6 all right so i haven't gotten that it makes the problem even easier now okay now easier in the sense that these are all perfect squares so i can make them root 4 multiply by root 6. Now remember when you have something like this, you know, you can break it to separate roots, okay? So plus, this becomes our root 16, multiply by root 6, minus this root 100, multiply by root 6. This is equal to what? We have y root 6. So we apply this using the principle of sort, which if you can recall, I'm just going to write it. Remember, if you have root n times n, you can write it as root n multiplied by root n. That was the step we applied. Now for this, I can get a perfect number. So the square root of 4 is 2. Because 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 1. So this is 2 root 6. Okay. And uh, plus square root of 16. What number multiplies itself to give us 16 is 4. Root 6 minus square root of 100 is 10. Because 10 times 10 will give us 100. Root 6 equals to y root 6. Now we can see that they are, they are all now having the same what? Sort. So they are now all in the same sort. So from this, we can now solve further. Now 2 plus 2 root 6 plus 4 root 6. Of course, we treat it like algebra. It's like saying 2a plus what? 4a. This will give us what? Of course, it will give us 6a. So 2 root 6 plus 4 root 6 will give us what? 6, okay, root what? 6. So minus what? 10 root 6 is of course what? Y root 6. Most times when you are treating sorts, you treat them like logic. Just like 2a plus 4a will give us 6a. So 2 root 6 plus 4 root 6 will give us 2 plus 4, which is 6 root 6. 
All right, so at this point, we can now simplify further, okay? And six root six minus 10 root six. Yeah, we are still going to treat it like algebra. If I have six a minus 10 a, what do we have? Of course, this is negative because this number is greater, so negative. Now six minus 10, so I have six minus 10 a. So this will give us what? Minus six minus 10 is four a. So if we treat this like this, we are going to get what? Minus four what? Root six. It's equal to y root six. All right, so from this, what can we do? We can now compare. If you compare this, you see that root six is equal to root six. This is equal to this. Now, what about y? They say that y is equal to minus 4. So that gives us the answer to this problem. Okay? On sorts. All right, guys. Hit the like button, share this video to your friends and loved ones. Thank you for watching this video and watch out for more videos. All right, bye.